I'm here to set the liberty, the captives at liberty. I'm here to liberate the oppressed. Amen. I'm here. Amen. Come on. Come on. Jesus is telling them here and now. This is not something for back then. He even makes this point. He says, there were many widow women in the days of Elijah. And we just read about the widow woman, right? Yep. And he says, there was only one to whom Elijah was sent. And Jesus is telling the children of Israel, I have been sent to you. Yes, sir. Well, here's where I'm going with this. You say, you've, you've spent a lot of time laying foundation. Where are you going, Pastor? Jesus wasn't just talking to the children of Israel, folks. He's talking to you and me. He's talking to the modern church right now. Hallelujah. Give the Lord some love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And here's what Jesus is saying. Now is this scripture fulfilled in your eyes. Not in the days of the Old Testament. Yes, not in the days of Jesus walking the earth. But right now, 2015, here at Global Wildfire Church, yes. here at Mercy Church Motorcycle Ministries, That's here right. in Abilene, Texas, hey. Jesus Christ is here now and his healing power is real. Yeah. If you need a touch from God, let me tell you something. If you need a touch from God, this is the place and the time to do it. Don't worry about what your family might think. Don't worry about what your folks might think. Don't worry about what your friends might think. Don't worry about what those around you might think. If you need a touch from God, now is the time to get it. I'm going to do something right now. I'm going to do something right now. Uh, I want, to, I want the overseer and I want the pastor of this church to come up here with me right now. Praise God. We're going to do something. We're going to do something right now. Praise God. Praise God. I feel the Holy Spirit moving right now. Mm, sister, I'm so glad to get to meet you. Praise God. Praise God. I have seen you on, on many, many nights. My wife and I have sat and watched you. Praise God. I, first of all, I want to pray with these two. And then what I'm going to do is my band's going to play something softly, okay? And if there's anything you need, church, I don't care if it's a financial blessing. I don't care if it's a physical healing. Maybe it's a mental or an emotional problem. We're talking about healing and restoration. Yes. That just doesn't mean giving sight to blind eyes, folks. Amen. And let me tell you something. These blind eyes got all the sight they're ever going to need. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm going to tell you that right now. But I want you to know, if there's something you need from God, Right now is the place to get it. These are believers. we got people that will stand up and pray for you. Um, my band is going to play something very softly. Please do not leave this place without asking God for that thing that you need right now. Amen? Amen. Amen. Allow me to get in place. Allow us to get in place, and we're going to do this, okay? And I'll get everybody out of here so that we don't get iced out and <laughs> snowed over. Okay. <laughs> here. And I know, I don't know about you, but this message spoke to me. Don't leave here without getting what you need from him. I need your mercy. I need your grace. I need your help.
Testament or the myriad of examples in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, but it's about the fact that today the healing and loving power of Jesus Christ is just as strong today as it was in the day of the widow woman. And I just want you to know that Jesus Christ today, each and every one of us are empty vessels. Amen. Each and every one of us is a vessel, are we not? Yes, we are. And I want you to know that Jesus is here, and this preacher is here, and that preacher is there, and that preacher is there. And you know what we're saying? We're saying, bring me another vessel. Bring me another vessel. Bring me another vessel. Amen.